Okay, so you notice uh, we have a couple things we need to change. We need to fix the uh, sizing of the actual stuff right here. So we're going to change this down to, let's see, 7, and then apply that so that we get their system start in the right location. Looking good. You know, as far as that goes, you kind of see it. And then the same thing here. All right, so again, lower that back down to 7. Generally, um, this is something that rolls back down to, and then those two look good now. So let's actually throw in another little block, um, and let's draw in a panel. Let's draw in a panel that would kind of give a nice little look. And what we're going to do is give a little pop to that, right? So similar to what we did before, we went about the same color. About the same color, pattern color. We don't want pattern color. We want border color. Um, and then again, kind of have that same raised look, raised inset look, right? Get that nice little pop to it. And then we want to send this to back. So when and you arrange it, you want to send it to back. And then we want to move it over and size it properly. All right, so we can actually get the sizing properly, make it look a little bit better, kind of have these grouped together so that it, they kind of stand out, you know, and just aesthetically make them look better. Nice little viewpoint right there, right? So again, so when we talked about down, down here in the buttons, we're going to fix these buttons now. Now, if you notice, there's a little syntax down here that says, uh, the screen to selector that's because when we imported earlier we didn't put our tag in here right so we're gonna do a memory tag we're gonna call this um, and you if you look the name is down there below screen select this is a memory tag okay analog remember we made it a very simple thing and now we've made the tag we've accepted Okay, so now we have that in there, and now we can use that. So let's see if it populates. Let's see, screen select. Okay, so now let's see if we can go down here. I think we need to edit the actual global object, which is fine. Um, this is perfectly fine because we actually do need to edit this anyway. So let's delete this and come here I can't remember if it's multiple layers it is multiple layers so we definitely want to ungroup those or we can actually work on different layers at one time I can't remember how many layers we had I think it was only three okay so let's actually undo those we'll layer them back on top of each other okay so this first one okay so this let's, let's look at this come in here and tag substitute so we have zero which is zero um, then we have screen select which is screen select zero one two okay so that's cool all right so we have that in there so what's the first one we have the first one on animation which is visible when the screen select is at one the screen select as it this is the next one as screen select zero so this is the one we should be seeing because the screen select isn't is naturally zero because we're not actually we haven't actually pushed it yet screen select is zero visible and that's two now we don't really need all of this to be honest with you um but hey it's it's here um so what we want to do and this would be the more button if you remember that would be changing the uh, actual actually the properties of this would be changing the screen select right so this should actually work now so let's actually put these together again and we'll put these back on top of each other and to easily do this what you can do um, and here's a little tip is you can go into the properties and you look at the properties here so this the height is 156 
and okay so the height right here should be 156 okay okay so we need to actually change the we need to change the top yeah the top should be 154 so if we do 154 then it would lay on top of each other but the side you see the sides are different and you can see one's group left one's group two so we'll change this to two this is a, another quick and easy way to do this so this is a, this is a two and this was 154 54 okay so that's they're all back on top of each other now we'll hit save and we'll populate that so we'll drag that over here we're here just like this now and again in let's see let's see if that works and it does now and that's because we had to edit it we had to actually add that new tag because the tag is brand new now again these are going to call for different screens <clears throat> so what we need to do is actually call for the screens we have now um, for that matter we're going to have the main screen which which is the main screen so that's perfectly fine let's see what that that pulls up pulls up the main screen it should pull up the main screen navigate go to button the main screen it's perfectly fine for the main screen um, this one would be let's call this the uh, let's call this the structure text screen uh, the light even though it's not going to work we're just going to call it and then we'll do the first more so we'll ungroup this uh, so this one is the one that's showing right and this one is visible when it's at two so we can always come down here and do main and do more and let's put that down here and so we got main machine so we got one of these showing and let's do main machine info is the one we changed to okay so we'll call that that label now is going to be traffic Light. and we'll do that just like that it's gonna be traffic light this uh, next one so this is going to be the very first one that gets I believe is is shown let's see that one seems to be the very first one or it might have been yeah no, it was the very first one could be because that was what was in there the main is perfectly fine um, then this one goes to we're going to call this one going back to the servo controls and then we'll call that servo controls okay so now we have this and then the peer will we'll always have this go back to the main or we'll, go, we'll have it go to tank level why not um, because we, we built that into this application we we'll call this tank level and then we'll have that go into there and then this will go to our servo controls so no matter what we are go back to our servo controls okay so now we have that edited all right so that's there and again what do we do we're going to pick the very first one we're going to see this is a two this is uh the top is a 97 so we're going to change the we're going to come in here and change the top to 97 change the bottom to what 97 and they're there now what i want to do too is kind of get i want to edit this well, actually, let's leave it. So we'll save this. We'll get rid of this. Come over here. We'll copy this. And we'll paste this over here. Now, 
we're going to have the down here. And we could have changed the colors and stuff to match. Um, you know, it, the blue is really kind of just is, is what it is. So what we're going to do is come over here. Shows the tank controls. Let's see, it's not really pulling the tank control up for some reason. Let's see why it's not pulling the tank control up. It is swapping buttons. But it might not be because we didn't call We may not have called the right main. So the main should have been that screen. So let's go back and edit that. And this is just part of it, right? So screen select, edit these, get them separated again. And our main, let's just do, let's pick our main. It does show main. So that should have loaded. And that does show main right here. But let's just make sure it picks. It didn't change anything. So it should have actually loaded those screens. Actually, it won't load those screens because we're not, that's right. We weren't actually at the point of where, where we, where we were actually running the application. So it's part of it. So let's put these at two, this is two, what was that? Two, two sixty-two. So two sixty-two, two six two enter and you see this is not right so let's change that to a three line that up this is the same thing call that two six six two and let's change this to a three perfectly lined up save this go back into here delete this one more time and let's load that into there and how we can get this to actually function and work I'll show you is now that we have the screen done we don't have this screen on the rest of them so it's not fair to call the rest of these screens until we have this on there so what I'm gonna do is kinda shorten this up a little bit and we'll have the shutdown on that screen so we can actually shut it down. I'll shorten this up a little bit. And then that way we can actually have this on there as well. So let's open the, this right here, copy this. And paste that on this screen. Make sure we get that just like that. And that's fine. It's got a little bit of overlay. Save that screen. Okay, so that's got that one. Servo screen and the main, which is basically the same thing we did before. So we'll just run these up, change these a little bit, change that, keep the shutdown on there, paste that, paste that in there so that our, our actual screen controls are on all the screens. Our header's not on all the screens, but our screen control is. Now, some of these screens aren't going to work because we're, our, we've changed our PLC we're talking to, so it's not a big deal, though, right? All we're trying to do is get navigation. And uh, we can't actually put our header in this one, so let's put our header in that one. Copy that and put our header in that one. Okay, so that's that screen. That screen that screen I don't want to do that and what we want to do on the runtime um, this is runtime security you know we have that in there we haven't done any security on this application but again when it comes down to it the runtime is going to start let's see what screen settings 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 startup and we can change the screen it's going to start up on. So let's start up on the. That's fine. Start up on the main. And uh, let's go ahead and test the application. So what we're going to do is test the application. And this is going to create the runtime. And then that way it'll just show us the navigation. And then we'll run the servo and stuff again. That way we'll see. 
And all this is doing is tying everything full circle. So you see everything we've done so far and everything we are, we're building. And that way you can actually see the, the whole thing like fully done. And before we actually, you know, I mean, you could create a runtime and, you know, download to, to a panel view. But this is the exact same thing except we're running on the actual Windows computer. So, you know, as this does, it's, it's just a way to test it. It's a way to create a runtime. Um, and again, you can do that. So this is starting the application now. And what you're going to see here, and I'll show you this, right? So you can actually see the diagnostics coming in. And again, this is not showing, and I was suspecting, yeah, this, I was suspecting this not to show because we're not connected to this. But what I want to do is go to servo controls, which we are connected to. We'll start the servo again, right? So we're starting and running the servo. We'll change the speed of that. So we'll change the speed of the servo a little bit. And I actually have the hard servo, the or the, the actual servo on the table. I actually have it tied into the um, actual switch, the speed pot, so I can change the speed of the whole system. You see the whole, these are all virtual axes. So then I can stop it at that point in time. And then again, we can go to more controls and our navigation works. We go back to start, uh, we can go back to more controls again, traffic light, which is the other one. None of this is actually tied into it, but what I want to do is this is the shutdown for the actual application. So, um, and again, we could throw those controls in there, but this is actually, I don't want to mix the applications up because this is a very, very detailed program. So I have all my virtual axes in here. I have everything in here and I don't necessarily want to just tie everything in because this was part of a separate project sort of a part of a completely separate thing that we did here and I uh, just wanted to kind of show how to tie that into a factory talk ME station and show you how to build that screen just like we just did so uh, hopefully you got a lot of value out of that and again um, you know as we keep going and keep doing things if you have any questions you know just make sure that uh, you can email me at uh, shane at uh, online plc support.com so, but again, when it comes down to it, this is the conclusion of actually getting the servo system up and running and showing you how to build that and showing you how to build the actual application. Now, the only other thing that I probably would do is make these as probably like a, a fatter line so that they're more prominent. And show that, right? So that shows the web of the machine a little bit more prominent than just that thin line and that really depends on the application and how big your screen you're doing this in interpretation could be used and we could actually shrink this down a little bit more just to give a little bit i don't know a little bit more elegant look to it right so keep this there that's that looks pretty good so again that just gives it that much more flair to it and again you can see how that looks right just running it one more time nice start to it easily shown i just wanted to show you how to tie that all in get it all functional and get it all 100 percent complete so again with all that being said we have uh, made that servo screen we showed you how to implement that we showed you how to draw everything out. We showed you how to do the active X that we've done here to change the speeds and each one of these to itemize these and how to do that. And add our lower header bar that we've imported and our header, our header bar and our footer bar that we've imported in from our other application. So again, when it comes down to it, um, we'll see you guys on the next one.